everyone, welcome back to another MLB Perfect in 2018 video. It is Shim for the Shim Placer was popping up having a good day. And today we have the debut of Corey Kluber, my newest starting pitcher. We're facing a good looking Angels lineup. We're facing Max Scherzer. My Cutchin is leading it off for me, my new leadoff hitter. Who, who I believe is making his debut today. I think. Scherzer delivers the 0-2. And it is taken low. Change up there. And that is in there for strike 3. Fooled me there. I was expecting it down and away. Here's Don Josh Donaldson, one overall higher than Max Scherzer. And that paints the inside corner one and one now. And that is low, just low, two and one. That will even up the count at 2-2. Two and two. I'm doing um, post-commentary, which is basically where I record the gameplay. Then I do it after as Donaldson will sky to center. But the center fielder makes a very nice diving catch. Very awkward camera angle, so I couldn't see who it was. Nor, um, nor really how good it was, even though I just saw the dive. As I said before, doing post commentary, because I couldn't quite get live commentary in. I forget where I did this game, but I couldn't get, um, I couldn't talk loudly like I like to do. As Ozuna goes down by way of the K. Here is Corey Kluber now in an amazing mood. Making his Padre debut, 103 command, 115 stuff, 107 break, and 91 velocity, and a pretty good pitch mix also. He's got the fastball, changeup, cutter, slider, sinker, and curveball. And he strikes out the first batter he sees in a Padre uniform. Here's Francisco Lindor, and oh my, he has very good hitting stats. 120 lefty contact, 118 righty contact, 112 power from Francisco Lindor. Very, very nice card, to say the least. And he strikes out there, back-to-back -back strikeouts in Kluber's first um, two and a third innings of work. Here's Javier Baez, possible MVP candidate in real life. This is his 2018 All-Star card. Plus 10, very good looking card. 107 overall. So now the 1-2 pitch is on its way to Baez. And it is swung on and missed for strike 3. So Kluber strikes out the side in his first inning as a Padre. Here's Chris Davis. He takes a slider outside for ball 1. And that one is swung on and missed. Off balance cut there from Davis. Ooh. Couldn't quite get the timing down on the change up there. So it's one and two now. And this one is driven to left center. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. Chris Davis goes yard. Gives me a one to nothing lead against the Angels. Because I can't read Korean. 
This is a Korean team we can tell because his na team name was in Korean. So here's a Brayu. And he takes that fastball. Just low. One and one. And now it's one and two as Abreu swings through the cutter. And that one is high. Evens up the count at two and two. Now the wind up in the pitch. And Abreu sends a towering shot. A deep drive to left center. Gone. Pretty much the same location as Chris Davis, just a little bit farther. Just to the left of the waterfall here in Angel Stadium. Now we're going to see a new relief pitch, a new pitcher, Pedro Strope. 89 overall. As Jeanette will take low ball one. Yeah, I'm hoping to be a little more patient at the plate in later games. And in this game as well. Ooh, completely fooled me there. I expected it to be low and away. And that one is low. Change up there. Couldn't fool me. And I strike out there swinging. Blew the fastball by me. Here's Springer Dinger. And just fouling off the change up there. Oh, and one. Oh, two now. And Springer swings and misses. Strike three. Here is Troy Tilowitzki now. As he takes ball one. As I said before, I might move him up in the lineup just because of the speed factor. And he has some pretty good hitting stats. I believe he's the second fastest on my team, second to Andrew McCutcheon. Or at least in the starting lineup, as he strikes out there. Doesn't add to his case very much. Kluber now pitching with a lead. Two run lead. Two run lead, to be more precise. Pujols now playing third base. Normally a third baseman. Also very nice hitting stats from Pujols as he grounds slowly to Jeanette who just barely retires Pujols. A very close play. Here's the third baseman Rizzo. I believe he has the S grade cleats and the S grade bat. I'm not sure about the cleats but I know, it, and I know that that is an S grade bat. 0 oh, 2 to Rizzo now. And it is swung on and missed for strike three. Bat didn't help him there. And now here's Eric Hosmer, who is the DH. And this one's hit the right past Abreu. Davis had a very long way to run to get that ball. I guess the defense was shifted backwards. And now here's George Springer, 2018 All Star card. Very nice. Playing right field. Most of the 2018 All Stars All Stars don't particularly have good defense, or at least throwing and fielding goes. The one two to Springer is swung on into Mister Strike Three. Five strikeouts on the night for Corey Kluber. So now here is Pedro Strope back on the hill to work. 
As he delivers strike one, Perez barely got a piece of it. And that one is fouled off 0-2 now to the Padre catcher. And this one's hit very slowly. Rizzo's going to have to... Where's Rizzo? I can't talk today. Rizzo had to throw to Strope. Here's McCutcheon now. That one is high, ball one. 95 miles an hour on the gun from Strope. Out in front of that slider was McCutcheon. And I dropped my phone. Got a little bit of lag there. 1-2 pitch to McCutcheon. A small line and it missed. 4, strike 3. Here's Donaldson now, the next one up. And he swings through the changeup there. It was off the plate. And the next one was low. 0-2 now to Donaldson. Strope delivers, and it is swung on and missed for strike three. McCutcheon. Um... McCutcheon Donaldson go down by way of the K. Here's Dexter Fowler, the center fielder. We're going to leave Kluber in. We're going to try and get as many strikeouts as we can with him. Makes for some makes for a good thumbnail. Here's Wilson Contreras, the catcher. And that one's just inside. I don't think that was a ball. Slider now. And it is hit slowly to third. Donaldson will throw out Contreras. One out away. Here's Sinsu Chu. Plus eight. As he takes strike one. We're going to try the fastball here. And it's hit to right center. That's gap. Heading to second is true. Ozuna fades into the wall as he retrieves that ball. So now there's a runner on second with two outs. Tying run comes to the plate in Lindor. As he takes strike one at 96 miles an hour. And he sends it to left. Everybody's going over there. And now it's a tied ball game. Did you just see all the outfielders somehow magically teleport there? But not one of them could have got that ball. Good job, Gameville. So that one's fouled off. So, Clue and job now. Just get the last out here. And and bring it into extras to try and let the offense score some runs. The 2-2 two -two pitch to Javier Baez. Is taken for strike three. Six strikeouts on the night for Corey Kluber. Now it's the heart of the order coming out. Three, four, and five. Ozuna... Davis, and Abreu. Almost forgot my five hitter there. And now Ozuna finds himself down 0-2. That's inside. 1 and 2. I really like this Ozuna card. Good arm from in the outfield. And this one's hit slowly to first. Rizzo's going to need help. He'll throw to first. Shrope was covering nicely. So they get the one, th the 3-1 put out of Marcelo Zuna. Here's Chris Davis. As he goes fishing after that ball. A 1 now. 
And he's late on that one. 0-2 pitch now to Davis is on its way. And it's taken. Good job laying off it. And the two-seamer is hit the left. Is it fair? Yes, it is. Chris Davis gives me a 3-2 to two lead in extra innings. In the 10th inning, to be more specific. So Davis goes 2-2. Two for two. And Abreu fouls that one off. So Davis, 2-for-2. Two, two, two home runs. And Abreu will strike out there. Jeanette's coming up. 110 contact off varieties. 105 power. Strike one. Ooh, just laid on that one. Couldn't quite get the um, bat to it also. And caught him looking. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Kluber is going to try and stay in this game as long as he can. As Pujols goes swinging after strike one. And now that is strike two. Kluber looking for the seventh strikeout on the day here. And he'll get it. Strikeout number seven for Corey Kluber in his Padre debut. Now we're going to go for the lefty-lefty matchup. With Kluber. I mean with Rizzo in hand. Here we go. I'm getting really strong lag also. And here comes Hand. Looking to get the save. He only needs to get the guys, so unfortunately my recording software cut out from there. But as you can see, I got the 3-2 win. Brad Hand came in and got the save. If you need any more proof, here you go. We got the game stats. Brad Hand pitched to it. Two-thirds of an inning, struck out one, gave up one hit, and he stranded him. Corey Kluber went three and a third, seven Ks, two earned runs, one gave up one home run. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed Corey Kluber's debut and want to see more from him and the rest of my team as well, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.